McLaren have an ingenious device which increases top speed. They call it the RW80. It's become known in the paddock as the F-Duct. Most teams are urgently trying to copy this. Understandably then, McLaren won't let us too close to the car. We've come up with another solution to show you how the device works. The regulations forbid any movable aerodynamic parts and so McLaren have developed an aerospace system relying on dynamic air pressure changes. Air is scooped from the top of the chassis and channeled through the cockpit area towards the back of the car. Above the driver's head in the rollover hoop is another major air duct. The blue arrows demonstrate air channeled towards the inlet trumpets of the high revving V8 engine. The yellow arrows show air used to cool the gearbox oil in normal running. At lower speeds, the blue air continues to the hungry engine, while the yellow cools that seven-speed gearbox. On the straights, Button and Hamilton use their left knee, which has nothing else to do while the right foot presses the throttle, and this blocks a hole in the system. The resultant pressure change now diverts air along the top of the engine cover into the rear wing elements. Downward force is generated when air accelerates under these wing surfaces, creating a low pressure area. Our diverted yellow air is forced through a slot which disturbs this airflow and cuts downforce and critically drag. Formula One cars have more than enough downforce in a straight line and this system gives them another three miles per hour.